Hi, I'm Toby Parker. I come from uh, King's College. I'm 17 years of age and today I'm learning about commercial flooring. Toby comes from the country, but today he's heading to town to learn about commercial flooring. He's come to Crown Flooring, which began as a father and son operation back in the 1970s and kept on growing. The son back then was Adrian De Root. And it started with my father who was the salesperson and I was the layer and I had two other layers working with me, one vinyl layer, one carpet layer. And we've got probably a team of about 42 at the moment. One of the team is Ron Bonfra, and Ron's going to show Toby the skill involved in laying commercial vinyl floor coverings. Hi, Hi. I'm Ron. Toby. Nice to be Toby. Yep. Yeah. Oh, nice to meet you. Yep. Um, you want to see what we do as a vinyl layer? Yep. Okay, let's go. Right. This is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be working at Mission Heights School. Yep. Alright, cool. so we'll go grab these uh, products. Yep. Commercial floor laying deals with large scale projects where there is heavy foot traffic. Places such as schools, office buildings and factories. They work with a variety of floor covering materials such as carpet, vinyl and rubber products. They also often work under time pressure. Their job must be coordinated to fit in with the multitude of other trades that come into play on a large building site. This is particularly crucial when there is a tight completion deadline on a huge project such as Mission Heights School. Today's task is to prepare the rough concrete surface in a kitchen area prior to laying the floor covering. Okay Toby, now we're going to prepare the floor. Um, so first we're going to scrape the floor. We've got bits of plaster on the floor that we just want to clean up. Now we're going to render this window. We're going to ramp it yep. smooth, right? This is a rapid drying product, mm -hmm. Artex 45. And that will dry roughly half an hour to an hour. The rendering mixture is a fine mortar that is used to smooth out changes in level. The same rendering mixture is also used to smooth the whole area that's to be covered by the flooring material. What I'm doing is, I'm, as I'm troweling, I'm watching by using the light, I'm watching the, uh, the, the way it's flowing on. The prerequisites for being a good layer is first, the desire to do the work and enjoy the work. The second is take pride in the work. Very, very important. And you must be good with your hands. Ron makes it look easy, but let's see how Toby handles the trowel. first time. <laughs> Being in flooring, one of the things that attracted me to it was the travel. So I've worked in America, I've worked in Singapore, I've worked all over the show. We've done ships up in uh, Portugal, we did the Inter-Island Ferry there. Um, yachts, there are super yachts, we've done quite a few super yachts. Um, I had a contract at one stage with the P&O line and we'd fit their liners out so we would take 18 guys away and we would spend a month in Singapore and we'd fit a ship out and uh, it was great you know we would uh, we would work hard and then we would play hard too yeah it's been, it's been very good the traveling has been very very good Toby's next stop is a large site where Ron recently completed the carpet tiling all right Toby now this is a job that I was um, working on last week yeah. um, this is carpet tiles now, it doesn't look like carpet tiles, yeah. but um, that's the whole idea. These just blend in and create this patchy look. So the whole idea of carpet tiles is that you can replace them. So we'll just find a tile, here to this. So we just pull it up. See how it just comes up, nice and easy. And here's the glue. It's another piece of sensitive glue. And if you feel it, that's all tacky. Yeah. It'll stay tacky for a whole of its life. Yeah. By now the rendering has set, so Ron and Toby return to begin the sanding. We here, we look after probably about 90% of our work would be commercial, 10% would be domestic. So, oh, how'd you find that? <laughs> yeah, tiring. <laughs> tiring. <laughs> yeah, it fights a bit. Next step is to tidy up the edges, then bring in the rolls of rubber flooring. After that, they'll start making the paper patterns that will be used to cut exactly the right shape of rubber. When you're in the flooring game, you're at different locations all the time. I once worked in a factory and I sat behind a table 
printing but making buttons for seats. And I thought, this isn't me. And then when I started working with these carpet layers, we went out and we traveled. And every job was different. Nothing was the same. And that's the beauty of it. It isn't boring because you're, you're going different places, you meet different people. You know, the, the friends you make out of it, it's great. You know, so that's the side where the flooring is a real bonus for anybody. Flooring materials are constantly evolving. The trend is towards renewable and eco-friendly materials such as wool, cork and rubber. This particular material is 45% recycled rubber. Right, well this kitchen's all done. I think we did a great job. All right, we'll leave it to the architect to sign off. Yeah, cool. Yeah. All right, Toby. That's it. All Thank done. Thank you very much. Yeah, enjoy yourself today. Yeah, yeah. Will do. Great. All right. Thank you. Oh, all the best. Um, well, I've learned how that laying a carpet isn't just putting down lino or the material. It's there's a lot of preparation before you have to do it, and there's, there's a lot of other people in the Building silence, sort of quite dangerous. So we did really well today. Yeah, he showed all the attributes that we're looking for in a uh, apprentice. You know, he was keen, he was willing to learn, and hardworking. So um, yeah, I couldn't fault him at all. Educational requirements for the job are school certificate or NCEA equivalent. English, maths, and workshop technology are useful subjects. The apprenticeship ranges from two to four years, and you'll complete the national certificate in flooring. You'll get to work on some of New Zealand's biggest building projects and learn skills you can take anywhere in the world. For more information about this fascinating career, visit www.flooringito.org.nz. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.